You're right guys, in this video I'm going to be making an Instagram mirror, I hope you like it. This project was inspired by my friend Shane's project, he used a sandblaster to etch this mirror while I stayed with him in America. Both Shane and Tammy went a hell of a lot further than just inspiring this project, they gave me the tool to make it possible, they very kindly got me a vinyl cutter, I can't begin to thank them enough, this opens up so many possibilities for projects. I used the vinyl cutter to cut my Instagram design. I created the design by taking a screenshot on my phone and then I traced the icons. The cut is incredibly quick, the process that takes a long time is the weeding out. This is removing the parts of the vinyl that you don't need for the stencil. With the weeding done it's time to add the transfer tape. This is like a really wide roll of masking tape. It sticks to the vinyl and keeps everything in place when you remove the vinyl from its backing. I did want to use a mirror with no mounting holes but I couldn't find one that was the right size. I lined up the stencil, made sure it was fully adhered and with no air bubbles. then remove the transfer tape. To protect the rest of the mirror, I use some more of the transfer paper. I don't have a big compressor so I brought this small airbrush compressor from Amazon. I also got an air eraser for the sandblasting. It gets filled with aluminium oxide powder. To try to capture the aluminium oxide I used an underbed plastic storage box. It did catch a lot but not all of the powder. The flow of powder is a little intermittent but you soon get the hang of it. It's also quite difficult to see the areas that have been blasted. I look for glints of light to know where I've missed. I go over the rest of the design in the same way. The reveal is always the best bit. As you can imagine I had a really hard time photographing and video in the mirror. It really doesn't do it justice at all. In person the designs are very clear to see. Being an Instagram mirror, I had to do the obligatory selfie and duck lips. 
I've added the design on top so you get a better idea of the overall look. So that's it guys, I really hope you liked that one. Sorry about the quality of the images and videos at the end, but as you can imagine, trying to get photos of a mirror, it was a nightmare with the reflections and everything like that. But I hope you get the idea of the overall project, and I do hope that you liked it, and I hope you've been inspired too. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to share the video with your friends, please go ahead, that also helps me out a hell of a lot too. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notifications. I'm going to put some videos up on the screen that you might be interested in watching, so I'll give them a click. You never know, you might find them interesting. Thank you all for watching again.